What's up, Michael from Viewers? Todd here on the 50 Foot Dude. Uh, we had a nice little restoration on this old girl. Interior and controls and stuff. And now we're taking that to Michael from Johnson over to the Konica. Awesome. I love that. Bringing you guys along for the ride. Up there. Going. Like the absolute boss that he is. Guys, PJ from Michelson here. We are on the 1994 Michelson 50 Dude. You remember remember this boat from a video a while back. We're with the new owner, Todd Swaggerty, good friend of mine. We're gonna walk you guys through, show you some awesome stuff that he did to this boat. He breathed new life into it. So come aboard, check it out. All right, so when I bought this, I'm like, okay, this is one of the cleanest Michael Sins I, I ever saw. And the hours were, were great, the motor was, was in great shape, and I'm, you know, kind of more of a, a value kind of guy, right? So I figured I'm gonna take the good stuff, uh, the, the Michelson, the hull, the power plant, the customer service, right? And, and just do a refresh. So I bought this boat, we went in and uh, modernized it a little bit with the controls. We have uh, the variable speed bow thrusters, uh, electronic controls, which makes a you know novice guy like me a little more comfortable at the docks. Um, Teak was already in really good shape, you know, it was really good shape. I know it's bad luck to keep it the, the uh, old girl, her name the dude, but you know it, it fit me, and so we wanted to keep the name dude. My wife. I got, love the name, by the way. Yeah. Just yeah. So you know, <laughs> I think it's awesome. But a uh, just some basics, you know, modernize a sink and plumbing and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, come in here into the uh, in the salon. You know, this was 1990s at its best previous. We took some stuff, the gold of these, uh, these stools and we brought it back to life on everything else. It's kind of in style now, right? And we just did a refresh. We got, you know, new carpet, um, reupholstered everything. And uh, to me, it looks like a 10 year, you know, newer of uh, a new countertops, Can't, new countertops. I don't suggest different. going this route, but uh, <laughs> Angel at the boat yard was fantastic. Uh, we had a few problems. This is an epoxy made to look like granite and um, it turned out pretty good in the end. A little bit of a disaster, but you know, like most projects, <laughs> you know, things go south on you a little bit. Uh, my wife did a bunch of furnishings. Uh, we went into the Michelson um, kind of design room and picked out all of the cool stuff that uh, we, you see here, right? It was all the inspiration we got out of there and, and talking to their designers and stuff. We're almost done, but we did that. Um, you know, countertops, uh, mattress, all, all the stuff that, uh, all the soft goods and everything else was, was, was raring to go. All the lights and all that kind of stuff we'll probably do later. I gotta do a stereo system. But... Oh, oh yeah. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> the best part of all. How could you forget? This is the, uh, God, what's even the name of this? Barmy. Barmy. So now. Sidebar. Sidebar, that's right. <laughs> so now, uh, nobody knows how much you've been drinking, right? Still not fully equipped, but uh, you have your alcohol. It's gonna be down there in the dispenser, right? Connected, and then you just hit whiskey, vodka, scotch, whatever you have. and. That way, the bottles are hidden, and uh, my wife doesn't know how much I drink. That's <laughs> right. super dangerous. Yeah, so I can <laughs> just keep it. Nobody, <laughs> nobody will know the difference. So that's a plus. There's pluses, and that's, that's wonderful. Um, all that kind of stuff down there, I guess you can take a quick a after shot uh, li later on, but uh, or now, and just kind of some, some refreshing. One of, the, put my equipment. one of the things that I get a lot of people ask about, can you put a, a wave runner or a jet ski on the bow? Yes. And Todd's got a nice, probably 13, 12, 13 foot inflatable. 
and a wave runner, which is super cool. So you put all your toys. There's plenty of valve space for all your all your uh, good stuff. Toys, yeah. fun, yeah. all the fun stuff. You have kids. to have it. It's mandatory. And the and the adult kids. Yeah. All right. Let's go yeah. Flybridge. Let's roll. So she was equipped with some uh, decent electronics already, but we put the electro uh, we put the electronic throttle uh, controls, uh, Glenn Danning joystick, joystick, modernized it a little bit, and uh, you know just li little touches. You put uh, I didn't go with the higher priced um, what's the higher price the, the Affinity the Stid chairs. Oh, the Stids, um, the Stids. I didn't go with the Stids. I just went with a traditional Todd. Matt's vintage Todd. It's me. Yeah, uh, la labeled the same, and so it worked. It worked for this boat, and it's vintage. We did the uh, new enclosure. Did the new enclosure, and um, we did uh, you know all the, the vinyl seating and stuff, and and I just thought it was better value than um, than uh, necessarily buying something newer that wasn't available at the time. Michaelson's go quick. Awesome. And, um, hey, real quick, yeah. I want to from behind the camera. I want to ask you one question. How was so? You bought this boat. You went through. You retrofitted everything on yeah. it. You had it ninety nine percent of the way there, and then we threw the Michelson raft up. How was the Michelson raft up? And how old are your kids? The whole right. the whole situation. So I have a eleven year old daughter and a six year old son. Uh, we went to the Michelson raft up, and for me, this is uh, going back a few years to the last raft up. I was actually in the same marina. Uh, three or four years ago and I saw it going out there and I'm like, you know what one day one day I'm gonna be I have a Michelson. I do not I said this to myself I didn't know these fellows at the time and um, So we were we were out there for the latest Michelson wrapped up. It was bitching. I had a little hurricane scare It was no big deal and little Hillary uh, action little Hill, Hillary action <laughs> And it was great, you know, it's just it's really is you know, it's, it seems, maybe seems a little corny to say, but it's true. There is a kind of a Michelson family, if you say, if I'm a culture network that you uh, become a part of. And that part is actually really cool. It's really cool. You meet a lot of good people, like-minded people, and um, it's just it's just really cool. It's special, actually. So it's been a good experience. Awesome. Well, I'm going to run up to the bow, take a shot of your super cool jet ski. You guys have seen it in the other videos that we made behind the Nomad. And Todd, thank you so much. You want to give us the send out? Sure, send out. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you're supposed to see that. It's T Swag with oh. Michael Yachts. Thank okay. you guys for watching. That's right. T Swag with Michael Yachts. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, hit that like and subscribe button. Oh, there you go. Found it. Found YouTube found star. It. All right, guys, up here on the bow. Really nice bait tank up here. You have another short cord connection up on the bow. So if you're bowing at your slip, you can still plug in really easy. And then CD Spark, 13 foot high field. Plenty of room. All good. I can still easily walk down the side. <laughs> 